してやる Rookies are known to be at the bottom of the ranks, everyone judges them by how talentless they are. But of course in reality they actually turn out to be strong rookies capable of beating tough opponents at a higher level. Usually this is meant to be, you know, impossible, but like always, anything can happen in anime and anybody can be overpowered. This here is the return of the list as I will continue again to recommend 10 anime where the weak protagonist is actually a powerhouse. If you are new around here then please make sure that you subscribe to the channel with a visible icon turned on to stay up to date with the latest anime news and recommendations right at your doorstep. Now, that can be all waiting, let us begin with the video. Why don't we start this list with something that is a lot more underrated but exciting to watch that focuses on a weak protagonist who is actually powerful to begin with. This is called Geno Guardian. The protagonist Suigen is not a wealthy person but more on the side of, you know, being poor who attends an academy and works part time to earn himself a living. Though he does enjoy playing his favorite RPG game where he easily destroys opponents left, right and center. The story may be confusing at, you know, at the very start but the developers work kind of like they just put everything up front for you to see and leave the rest for later. This then kind of results in rushing or cramped storytelling but it really doesn't, you know, ruin the the fun experience that you get overall from the show. Up next is a beautiful series known as Kino's Journey, which is a very underrated show for how good it actually is, as it tells the story of a female protagonist, Kino, who enjoys adventuring and exploring her surroundings with her bike. She's armed with a badass dual guns and she's not really afraid to kill anyone who gets in her way of life. Just throwing this out though, her motorcycle does indeed talk like it's her imaginary friend so hopefully you won't find that annoying because personally I didn't mind it at all. Kino will encounter new people, civilization and most importantly the danger that lurks in these lands. It's a very exciting adventure you guys should definitely check out. <laughs> So much Chinese anime series are left out, and what I mean by that is that they really don't get the justice they truly deserve. The protagonist Lu in Dragon Raja is your average protagonist who joins a very prestigious school in a world where powerful and immortal dragons are at war with the human race. It's gonna be pretty cool with a bunch of powerful characters fighting each other with super high pacing, but everything seems really well thought of. There's a lot of variety of characters to get introduced to over time, but some are more exciting than others of course. Though the only reason myself and probably many others who have actually watched Dragon Raja enjoyed the show in the first place was due to its extreme action. It has visually good animation and combine that with the fights, you would want more of it. Now I don't know about you guys, but anime that focus on samurai action is so cool. And this here takes place in a world conquered by Oni, creatures that feast upon humans that need to be stopped and the only way people can do that is to join the Bushi tribe. <laughs> Orient is a series from the author of Magi. Now it's not on the same extreme level of greatness as Magi, but it does hold different qualities that make it entertaining for people to watch. Musashi the protagonist is a young samurai who wishes to join the Bushi tribe in the hopes of stopping people from worshipping the great Oni. Of course, to actually become one in the first place, he needs to hold and wield a special sword called the Kitetsu Blade, and those blades need to accept the wielder as its master. However, poor Musashi though is different. No blade would actually accept him, and thus he must find a way to become a warrior one way or another. Oh, 
切れるかな Banish from the Heroes Party. Well, from the title itself, I'm pretty sure you can predict what this anime is about. The Hero Red was a member of the Great Heroes Party who were destined to feed the Demon Lord, but alas, the rest of the team just surpassed Red in level and skill and believe him to be a weakling and someone holding the team down. So they decided to just kick him out of the party, allowing him to live in peace in a village as a local pharmacist, helping and aiding people needed without battle. <laughs> You guessed it, it's pretty much a slice of life anime of both the protagonists, Red and Rit, living together, but his past life, however, cannot be left behind this easily because there is still business to take care of with the hero's party. How about this time a badass female character with a secret power making her invincible that she can merely kill monsters in an instant. This series is called Peach Boy Riverside. Now the big issue with the series is the way the anime structures its episodes which is kind of all over the place. But the story is so enjoyable and so are the characters that you will meet with super cool powers. Mainly this anime is about monsters versus humans. Both sides are unable to coexist and always cause problems and are in battle. The protagonist Sally however wishes to somehow create peace between the two sides. Using her powers, she will protect the human race no matter what the cost is. I'm very sure you all know just how important first impressions are with an anime series because that's where a lot of people make a choice whether they want to continue to watch the show or just leave it be. And for Seven Nights Revolution, it didn't really do great for its first episode. However, this is a show that has more than what you think after episode 1, with an uncomplex story and twists you couldn't even predict, making this an ideal series for so many to watch. This anime is interesting that focuses on hero powers that will be inherited by successors, a lot of the characters get different powers from their hero they summoned, but the protagonist, however, Nemo, received a different power. One that nobody was expecting because his hero was a complete stranger to society and completely unheard of. Now just quickly ask yourself this question, but what does it feel like walking around in an RPG game dressed in a bear costume and nobody realizes just how overpowered you are? Well, Kuma 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 Bear is a cute slice of life fantasy series of a girl trapped in a video game and can't log out, and now she has a bear-like powers that assist her on her adventures as she slays enemies easily and has powerful abilities. Let's be honest though, visually she looks so weak and goofy, but that is that is my opinion. And it's a good thing because others are in it for a big surprise when they find out just how much of a powerhouse she really is and a bear not to be messed with. <laughs> War God System, I'm Counting On You, is a very interesting Chinese anime series of a protagonist named Lin who receives the War God System. He was your average guy at first until someone sends him to a school of magic so he can learn how to cultivate. Just like a lot of series when a character first arrives at school, he's at the bottom of the scores or the ranks completely, weak and also humiliated. However, with the use of the War God System, it increases his powers allowing him to surpass his abilities to cultivate at a higher level. Nobody really 
usually recommends or talks about the show, making it super underrated, but I think it's worth a shot at being watched by more people. For the final anime, this here is Ultramarine Magmel. An era of exploration has just begun, with a new continent that opened up called Magmel, with vast landscapes and never seen before creatures. People known, however, as anglers specialize in dealing with Magmel's dangerous wildlife, and that's where the protagonist Inyo arrives, a highly skilled and powerful soldier who looks like a young boy and possesses extreme power. His mission is to pretty much search and rescue people trapped or have difficulties traversing Magmel and lead them to safety. Looks like you just reached the end of the video at Witness 10 anime where the weak protagonist is actually a powerhouse. If I have managed to leave any anime out in particular that you thought would be great to share on the list, then please let me know in the comment section down below as I'd love to hear your very opinion. Or just comment down below what you thought about the video in general as I'd always appreciate the feedback. So please enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be seeing you all in the next one.